Verse 43, he asked them, Why do you not understand what I'm saying? And then he answers his own question. It is because you cannot hear my word. You're listening to my voice, but you cannot hear what I'm saying. Because your heart is full of rebellion against me, you're dead in your trespasses and sins, you can do absolutely nothing to please God, and so in your own natural sinful state, as long as you're a slave to sin and simply claim blood relation to Abraham, it's impossible for you to hear my voice in any kind of believing and obeying way. You cannot do it. Not simply you will not do it. But you see, that's what you remember about your friends as you witness to them, and, and they refuse you. Don't, don't get frustrated. Don't get impatient. Pity them. They can't hear you. How much hearing can a dead man do? You look down at a corpse. And I used to say a dead corpse until I realized that's the only kind there is. You look down at a corpse and you say, uh, Mr. Corpse, I'll give you $100 if you raise your right hand. Nothing. You say, well, maybe I'm not talking loud enough. Mr. Corpse, hundred dollars, raise your hand. Well, maybe I need to offer a little more and talk a little louder. Mr. Corpse, a thousand dollars if you raise your hand. Nothing. And you say, Well, maybe I'm making the demand demands too much. Mr. Corpse, thousand dollars, wiggle your finger. Nothing. Why? He's dead. And that's the truth of all of your non-Christian friends. And if you can hear it all, it's because Jesus has healed the eardrums of your heart that you have burst deliberately. They didn't want to hear these words. They knew what the consequences would be. They knew what the demands would be. They knew they would have to change their religion. They knew they'd have to change their relationship to Jesus Christ. They knew they'd have to change their behavior. We don't want to hear you. Jesus says, you can't hear me unless I open your ears.